Too bad she missed all the fun, but at her young age, at least she was staying out of trouble long enough for the game to be played. Number one, Jackson at number two, Cody. First half, Cody wearing the white. Hannah Bailey is one of the leading scorers in the state class 3A, but Paige Asbell was not going to let her through, and the sophomore ended up with one of her easier saves of the game. On the other side, Jackson would take their shots as well. Rachel Fairbanks has been having a phenomenal freshman year, and Raven Johnson has been doing equally as good in front of the net. Not a whole lot happened in the first 40 minutes, thus there was no score going into halftime. Second half, things got a little more interesting. The Lady Bronx were within 10 yards of a goal, and that was too close for comfort for Johnson, who was not taking any chances. Credit to the two defenders that were in front of her as they would force the opposition to change strategy. Meanwhile, the Phillies were knocking on the door themselves. Bailey will give it another try, and this one almost worked as the ball went off of Asbel's fingertips, but there was not enough momentum behind the kick for the ball to get past her, so we still have nothing doing so far. Back and forth this game went, and there were a lot of close moments. We have a collision in front of the net. The ball pops loose, but Johnson was able to recover and make the save. This was a much different game than one month ago when Jackson won 6 to nothing. Speaking of the visitors, here's another try. Abby Brazil saw a lane from eight yards away, but Johnson did not have to react much to deny access. Nothing got accomplished by either offense after 80 minutes, so another 20 would get added on, and both teams would keep playing. Now in overtime, and not much happened there either. Cody had the right idea on this play, as Bailey would try to center the ball to Kaylee Chandler, but Asbel saw it coming and cut the play off at the pass. Both goalies did their job in this contest, and the end result was a scoreless sister kisser.